Hey guys, it's Neil from Tax TV. Uh, trying to do a new feature, uh, just a bit of news recap of you know what's been on in papers or social media, uh, TV or radio, basically. And it's just a recap at week news. Gonna try and wrap it all up in a video, so it, it, it like ties it all in. Um, just want to thank sponsors NK Pro Promotions. Um, links are in the description, everything like that. We organise boxing promotions, uh, fights at Metrodome, and also got a gym down at Oil Mill. Uh, reasonable rates, run by an ex professional boxer. If you want to keep fit mentally and physically, I, I suggest you go down to uh, gym, check them out. They'll not rip you off. Uh, good guys. Um, give them a go. Game and go, uh, really down to earth, and not a million miles away from Bounds Football Club, straight opposite Snooker Club. So, just getting back to it, uh, we'll start off with this week as well. Um, sadly, uh, sad news about uh, Jimmy Rob uh, Robson sadly passing away. Uh, went to well, started his career at Burnley, went to Blackpool, and he came to Reds back in January 1968, signed by Jimmy Steele. Uh, two and a half years he spent with club, 98 appearances, 17 goals, uh, and he, you know, got promotion. He was part of promotion winning team, uh, for, in fourth division, 1968. Uh, from uh, here, he went back over at Pennines uh, to Bury. Uh, so it's just, uh, you know, a bit of a reflection on uh, Jimmy Robson, who was uh, Barnes player back in uh, 1960s, late 1960s. Probably some of the younger fans will not uh, know him, but for other people that do, and like what we always say, once a red, always a red. Uh, so going back to some other other news, what's been uh, happening? Um, I did a video about Wednesday, I think it was, on about some transfer rumours or happenings, what may be or may not be happening. Callum Styles has been linked with Burnley and Brighton. It'd be ironic if he went back to Berlin because that's obviously where he started off his career as a young kid and didn't make great kind of thing, so he went elsewhere. So, again, would it be happening in January? Uh, leave your comments below. You, you may agree or disagree, whether you think he'll go or others might go. Um, Jacob Butterfield, been training with under-23s, as you all know, and there's a bit of debate going off about it. Um, he's gone to St Johnston. Apparently they've a bit short on numbers and that, and he's gone to them until the end of the season. So I wish Jacob all the best. Um, some people like saying, me included, would it be, you know, fit into what we've got here kind of thing. And I can't see why not. Uh, we say it's fitness and this sort of way, but at the end of the day, he came back from Australia and he wanted to, you know, he wanted to have a good lad. Uh, but St. Johnson's took it up and he's gone up there. So I wish Jacob all well. Um Going back to FA Cup, league matters, well, league or football matters, uh, Barrow, FA Cup after their win against Sipwich Town. So, be a good uh, draw for Barrow. Uh, they'll be coming, hoping to fetch a few uh, fans. So, it'd be a bit of an atmosphere. Could it be a banana skin at the minute? Are uh, we are playing? Who knows? But it's FA Cup. Oh, what can happen at FA Cup? I love it. I'm a traditionalist. I used to like them when it what replays and all stuff like that. But it is what it is. Uh, we've got Barrow at FA Cup, so all being well, see what I can do regards getting some people on that. But that's just a recap about that. Uh, also, what's been linked and mentioned in um, news is four players are out of contracts. Uh, interesting as well, this one. Dominic Freezer is out of contract to end of the season. Um, a player that started pretty regularly under shop, uh, but since then has been a bit in and out at uh, side. Um, I'll have a bit of recap on these. And uh, when I mentioned other players, uh, Ben Williams, another another player. I know he's had a, an injury, he's come back and he's not been as regular this season. Again, been a bit in and out, made a, a cameo, brief appearances. Uh, ben Williams, Apple Arm. Another one who's had injury issues and come back and has either not been in the squad or has been on the bench. He's not been a starter. And uh, Ramal Palmer. 
also out of contract as well. We've got four players here. What's going to be out of contract at the end of season? Uh, would you let any go in January? Would you, you know, would you cash in on them, or would you let them see the contracts out? Uh, when you've got four players like that, if you could go at end of, uh, in January, sorry, not end of the season, but in January, that could potentially free some wages up to bring some players in. Uh, Dominic Freezer in and out. Ben Williams again. Could you cash in on him or would you extend it? Apple Arm again. Another one, would you cash in? And Ramal Palmer, would you extend that? Would you extend his contract? Uh, let, you, let me know in, in comments, guys, what uh, what your opinions are on on uh, men four players. Well, I mentioned V, you might say, yeah, extend Bromal Palmer, yeah, extend Ben Williams, but but other two let him release them or cash in on them or see him at art. You may agree, disagree. You might say, oh, lot go. It'd be interesting to see what your guys think. But men four players, what a uh, out of contract at the end of the season. Um, on about players as well, uh, rumours going about in uh, some uh, social media that they may be recalling George Miller back from Walsall, which would be an interesting move. I know that Poy has been struggling for goals in, inside, uh, fair to say, uh, but since he's been on loan at Walsall, he's had 16 appearances, seven goals. So, yeah, it's a bit of a challenge, but he's been wanting to he's going to be wanting to fetch George Miller in with confidence. Um, because he'd never really ripped up, ripped up any trees while they were at Barnsley, to be fair. He's always been an under 23 setup. Um, he went, he's gone out, he's got some game time, and it looks like he's enjoying sitting at Walsall. Would you be happy with that? Would you be happy with him recalling George Miller to go, you know, to feature in first team, or would you be? Said no, do you know what? You might as well stay here or sell him on again. Please comment below. Um, uh, this is just news what's been happening there. News about the game against West Brom. Um, apparently, there's far up, up to now four West Brom players what are set to miss due to COVID related issues, not known. Um, the players are, are close to first team war. Uh, that's for. West Brom game. On about West Brom, it's believed to be first uh, game EFL with you know your COVID passes and all your you know certain restrictions are in place for uh, attending game. We stuff what's been happening in in press. I know club have been saying if you can attend before and you know get ready to be, get checked and all all passes and stuff like that. Again. I'd love to hear your comments below. What do you think about this? Because when I've been watching the um, Premier League games, um, you don't, and people have been saying, well, we never got checked out. We never got checked. We, you know, but it seems to be that we're playing West Brom and we're going to be first DFL. So if it's not in the Premier League, if they're checking or for being, uh, you know, all your tests and stuff, why should it be different with EFL? Plus there's also some games being cancelled. Um, in Premier, probably in in, uh, in EFL as well, there's going to be a few games getting called off. And as I speak about uh, games getting called off, it's believed to be that Stoke City, um, it's a game against Stoke City at home on Boxing Day, is cancelled. Um, Rumours were going about that it was. We're looking at getting cancelled because we've, we've cancelled the weekend game, Stoke. Um and it is believed that come Boxing Day, the, the Balancer versus Stoke City will be cancelled, unfortunately. A uh, bit of a shame, you know, Boxing Day fixtures are always a, you know, nice, you know, meet up with lads and that, every drink and a natter and a banter of a, you know, of a Christmas and stuff, um, if that is the case. But as I speak now, it is believed to be that Stoke City We'll be cancelling the game or postponing the game due to COVID-related issues. There may be more happening uh, after this video gets up, uh, uploaded. So that's bits of news what I've uh, you know picked up. Uh, there'll probably be bits of more news, obviously, on about West Ham, which happened the week before. West Ham's uh, going to be opening up mid-January. 
so I wanted to try and get a, a weekly uh, roundup if I can, just to let your guys know. If there's anything that I've uh, missed, I apologise, but I'm trying to get as much information what I can and relevant information. Uh, please leave, leave a comment, uh, like, share, subscribe, and all that stuff. It really appreciates um, me with channel, trying to move it forward. Uh, thank my partnership with NK Promotions. Uh, and thank you all for taking time out and watching this. If you are going to a game against West Brom, please stay safe. Uh, I will with my son. Um, please stay safe. Um, it's going to be a bit weird on a Friday, not a Saturday. Uh, but... It's a game, isn't it? So we've got to get up for it under lights and it's on uh, Sky TV as well. So there's only one thing to say. You Reds.